Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kevin. Today is Friday, October 14th, 2022. And we begin with a world famous superstar soccer player putting his coping skills front and center in a now viral video for kids. Harry Kane is a striker for Tottenham and one of the best in the game. But he wasn't always. Harry was dumped from Arsenal at the age of eight and repeatedly told by coaches that he wasn't good enough. It took a toll on his well-being and sent him into long bouts of self-doubt. But he never gave up and now wants to share his up-and-down journey with others. He's launched a new mental health foundation and posted an animated video that he hopes will help the next generation deal with rejection. Harry's message, wherever you are, whatever the struggle, keep working, keep going, and most importantly, always believe in yourself. There's a major development to report in the investigation into the January 6th riot on Capitol Hill. Yesterday, the panel that spent the past year hearing from more than 1,000 witnesses voted to subpoena former President Trump. Subpoena is a legal term that simply means he's been ordered to answer questions under oath about what he knew and when he knew it. Last night, Mr. Trump criticized the committee as a total bust, but did not say whether or not he'd comply. The subpoena is not unprecedented. According to NBC News, several sitting and former presidents and vice presidents have testified before congressional committees, including Abraham Lincoln, Woodrow Wilson, and Gerald Ford. Mother Nature is upending plans on the ground and in space. Damaging winds, rain, and a big drop in temperature rolled across the East Coast late yesterday, prompting Major League Baseball to push last night's Game 2 of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and Cleveland Guardians until 1.07 p.m. this afternoon. And 250 miles up, a SpaceX crew, due to return yesterday from a six-month mission, had to cool their weightless heels for an extra day on board the International Space Station because of bad weather off the Florida coast. Now they'll undock at 11.35 Eastern this morning, with splashdown in the Atlantic expected today at 4.50 p.m. And while NASA works to get a SpaceX crew of humans back home, it's also still trying to get its own crew of mannequins airborne. The latest Save the Date announcement for Commander Moonakin and his Artemis 1 rocket is now Monday, November 14th, with liftoff at 12.07 a.m. That date's window of opportunity, which is when weather winds and orbits line up just right for launch, is smaller than most, only 69 minutes long. Launching on the 14th would also mean a shorter overall mission, with the high-tech test dummies lapping the moon and returning in just 29 and a half days, instead of the planned 43. With a name like Elon Musk, the perfume business was probably a natural next step. The eccentric founder of SpaceX, Tesla, and soon owner of Twitter has sniffed out a new, cheekier moneymaker in the form of fragrance and launched it under the name Burnt Hair. If that's not off-putting enough, the website describes it as repugnant and a surefire way to stand out in a crowd. No matter, pre-orders are popping and have already made Mr. Musk another $2 million. Burnt hair starts shipping early next year. That's it for Kid News this morning. Now our Kid News quiz, generously sponsored today by the Houseman family of Bay Harbor Islands, Florida who'd like us to give a big birthday shout-out to twins Irene and Elan, who turned nine on Sunday. Irene and Elan, your parents and little brother Ariel want you to know that you are caring, kind, and altogether wonderful, and that they are so proud of who you've become. Tori, Kim, and I, and the rest of the Kid News team, all hope your day is awesome. Now, today's quiz. What famous soccer player is trying to help kids deal with rejection? Harry Kane of the Tottenham Hotspur. Which legal word means to order someone to answer questions under oath? Subpoena. When is the new anticipated date for the Artemis rocket launch? November 14th. What's the name of Elon Musk's soon-to-be-released fragrance? Burnt hair. In today's Kid News Kicker, it's typically frowned upon when baseball fans flock to the field. 
but one recent playoff game interruption proved to be a big screen crowd pleaser. In the eighth inning of the Dodgers-Padres mashup Wednesday night, a gigantic goose took up position in center field. He didn't budge, even after a player singled to right. But the surprisingly big bird apparently got bored during a pitching change and flew to the Dodgers on deck circle. There, it was a swing and a miss for those trying to catch him. In fact, his first pro game appearance only ended when he got caught stealing third by a stadium worker who tagged him with a towel, scooped him up, and escorted him out. Pun's not done. That National League Division Series is now tied at one beak apiece. Game three will be on Saturday night in San Diego. Thanks again to the Houseman family of Bay Harbor Islands, Florida, for sponsoring today's quiz. And a big happy birthday to Irene and Elan. Hello to their awesome little brother, Ariel. And a Kid News shout out to their teachers, Ms. Alvarez and Ms. Stern. And all their friends at the Lehrman Community Day School in Miami Beach. We also want to recognize Mrs. Whitbeck and Mrs. Adams and their bears at Sleeping Giant in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Mrs. Rhodes at Rural Retreat Elementary in Rural Retreat, Virginia. Mrs. Barber and her MVPs at Redwood Heights in Oakland, California. Mrs. Tornquist and her Eagles at Whispering Winds Academy in Phoenix, Arizona. And Mr. Fleming and his Patriots at Independence Middle School in Cole City, West Virginia. Thanks for listening. Our Week in Review quiz is up on our website and our weekly word search is in your emails. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here for more kid news Monday morning. <laughs>